Hello, this is uh, Greg Freeman with PLCTrainerFolks.com and uh, I wanted to uh, illustrate a uh, exciting trainer uh, that brings in the uh, modern aspects of PLC and uh, control interface uh, programming such as HMIs and, and even uh, remote uh, programs. You might have heard of Wonderware, Simplicity. If you haven't, look them up because uh, they often in a chemical plant or manufacturing plant tie into the PLCs all over the plant through networks and that's very important to learn um, and what we've got is um, multiple PLCs you can see here this trainer has multiple PLCs uh, it's a micro 850 with analog in analog out some control slim relays like you'll see in a control room um, another uh, PLC for uh, Micro 820. These are networked together to teach. Uh, there's an HMI with PLCs network networked together to help uh, create a uh, uh, a learning a learning of a modern plan. Um, then you've got your momentary, your your toggle, and your your miscellaneous uh, outputs, including analog in, analog out. In addition. The actual, there's a control interface, much like a control room. And this is very important to learn. A lot of trainers, and, and they're wonderful trainers, uh, there's a lot of trainers on the market, they focus, if you look, on playing with wires at the front panel. And uh, keep in mind that this, the inputs, such as hardwired inputs and outputs and, and all those types of things, that is certainly important to learn and in addition in a PLC program there might be thousands of internal momentary and direct contact and, and uh, mathematical uh, solutions inside the program so these to have a PLC trainer dedicated to plugging in and out of wires on a control board that is specifically fixed you can no longer change this control board. You're stuck with it. So if you want, if you want anything beyond that, you, you can't have it. You've got to, you've got your, your board. With this trainer, what makes it extremely useful is it can be changed to anything at any time. And if you want to create a packaging line, well, you have a program, you download it, and you create yourself a packaging line. If you want to create, and all of it is interactive, much like a control room would be. So, in addition to PLC programming, when you begin your PLC program, you can you can begin um, with simple one PLC. If you want to start off with just one PLC to program, well, that's what you start with. If you want to start off with, if you want to learn, if you want to learn networking. Well, you have the tool for that. If you want to learn HMI um, programming tied to PLC, we'll do that. Multiple PLCs, do multiple PLCs. So let's take a look at what a trainer such as this can provide. Uh, so for one, there's the there's the the hardwired inputs directly to the internal PLC. These are important, certainly. I don't want to say they're not. Um, and they're just part of the equation. Um, so if we look at our interface, which is a touch screen, it can be used to, to, to directly touch inputs and outputs, much like a control room would. You can design this any way you want. If you want you're not stuck with the simple board and wires forever. You can create any interaction face you want for your trainer. If you want to create a chemical bulk, if you want to create a packaging line, whatever you want to create, inputs and outputs, they will be bits, um, but they will simulate just like hard. So you have your hardwired and then you have your interactive. Uh, and let me show you the, let me show you the, uh, you can see the tank the valve is open, the pump is on, it's all green going to the rail car. So let me show you the HMI itself 
I just use the HMI to turn it. This HMI might be installed on a bulk rail car loading rack. So if you have, you design this HMI in most modern factory, manufacturing plants would be installed clear across the plant and many HMIs are networked to the central uh, control room, things like this, or monitoring software such as supervisors carrying around tablets, the management being able to pull up the plant, a different thing. Everything, the control, the control rooms, all of this through a, through a you don't, to learn PLC Prairie, if you don't want to in, incorporate this, just turn it off. You don't want to incorporate it. You can see that both the HMI, the, the hard wires can be, the hard wired inputs and outputs can be wired directly to the same as the HMIs throughout the plant. This is normal throughout the plant. A lot of times there's passwords, things like that. But the, it's important to learn to have multiple PLCs. As you can see, multiple PLCs to have those net through a network switch with remote HMIs, analog and all that, and to have a control screen that can be changed to anything you want. If you're, if when you, whenever you pay a programmer professional programmer, $180 an hour to come, you're not going to pay him or her to use software uh, such as troubleshooting, some of the tr troubleshooting software. No, you're paying them to $180 an hour to take your PLCs, interface them to your HMIs, develop HMI screens. In addition to that, many times to have a control room interface or some other that 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 actually connects to the PLCs and the HMIs over the network. That's very important to learn. Sys systems like Wonderware, Simplicity, different things. Now that's very expensive for a trainer. However, you can still simulate it. And it's important to have that understanding. So a trainer like this is invaluable. If you don't want to learn that, well, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we can do. If you don't want to learn, or you're not up to learning the, the um, you're not ready to learn that level, we can go ahead and go to using, use the interface as simply nothing more than a monitor. So if you're in a, say you're at your desk or in a classroom, whatever, training, in a training, you can use your uh, interface screen as a monitor. To You can have your programming software, you can have your, um, if you want to have your program, you program your interface, if you want to program your um, your software you can use it for that if you want to go back you want to go back to your to your uh, using a control interface it's pretty simple just go back to it and you're back you're back in action so this is a level the next level advance you don't have to start off with it and I wouldn't recommend start off with basic programming you've got one PLC you can use, then add another one, add some networking, networking in, do some HMI development, then move on to analog, then move on to, uh, to the point where you're learning timers, counters, all that kind of stuff, and then expand into math and, and uh, uh, things like control interfaces, like a control room, uh, things like that. So, so that, this gives you that tool. It's beyond... Uh, the traditional, it's beyond the traditional uh, wire trainers we've had for 30 years, which is, they're good, um, but you're also paying for that. You're paying three times the price for, 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 uh, for wires, distributors, and, um, and booklets. So this gives you a tremendous tool, uh, and uh, feel free, plctrainerfolks.com. Feel free to contact us. Thank you very much.